Hello humans, I'm Yu Schiller, and welcome back to some more Shantae, Half Genie Hero. In the previous part, I completed two levels. I completed, well, I beat two levels. I didn't complete them because I didn't get all the collectibles in them, but I beat Tassel Town and Cape Crustacean. But in this part, I shall complete them. I shall get all of the remaining collectibles that are in them. But first, I have to go ahead and do some more in between level collecting stuff. Which means I have to go back to Tassel Town. I'll get the elephant stomp. What do you have to say? Yeah, there's a hermit in the desert tower. Well, that's where I'm headed, silly. So I'm gonna head back to the desert tower in Tassel Town. I'm gonna get the elephant stomp, and then with the elephant stomp, I'll pretty much be able to collect every other item that I missed in previous levels. And then I'll unlock the next level, which will be Hypno Baron's Castle. I'll beat that, and then after I beat that, I'll have access to the mermaid bubble. And then when I have access to the mermaid bubble, I really will be able to collect every single collectible that I'm missing in any level. So, first things first. I need to go to Tassel Town. There we go. There's nothing I can do in the first section of the level, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the second portion of the level, which is the Desert Tower. I'll get those remains, the five remains that are found within the flowers, on the ground, whatever. Elephant stomp stuff, it should be good. Let's go ahead and skip to it. And then while I go ahead and do all that, there are also some heart holders and gallery keys that I can get in this portion of the level. So I'm going to go ahead and get those. And then at the middle of it all there's like a power up for the rat transformation that I have. I don't ever plan on using that power up but for 100% completion sake I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Alright skipping text I elaborated in the previous parts so that I'm not gonna read every bit of text that shows up. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it to the best of my ability so that I can speed up this process more quickly because this part's already gonna be pretty long and I don't want to make it any longer by reading every single person's bit of text. So break through these See these flowers? Stomp on them. Get the remains. Okay, there's five of them. Once you get the fifth one, you'll automatically be warped back to the bottom of the tower. At which point, I will climb all the way back up and get everything else that's up there. So, let's do it. And then along the way, I'll go ahead and break a few jars. Not all of them, but a fair chunk of them because throughout this game, I'm going to have to power up Shantae by buying various items. And for 100% completion... All of that is necessary, so if I can get some jewels along, along the way with ease, then I shall go ahead and do so. Now, over here on the right, there should be another snake head that I can destroy that will give me access to another remains piece. I think that's what I'm supposed to be calling them, another remain. Another remains plural, maybe? I don't know. Well, that's the second one. Okay. Three more to go. Along the way, there should be at least one heart holder in one gallery key, so let's go ahead and have a quick look around. Yeah, and then like the last remain is relatively close to the top of the tower, but it's also right next to a heart holder location, and I just have to remember which one's which. Not that it really matters, I have to get them both in the end anyway. Oh, can I just break this with the monkey bullet? No. No, I cannot. I have to use Shantae's hair, so I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, trying to do things quickly, not doing things as quickly as possible because I'm not the best player in the world at this game. Oh, here we go. Here, you can witness me use this mouse transformation for the first time in this hero mode walkthrough. I mean, in the regular walkthrough, I guess I'd be using it around the same time, too. But hey, hero mode, gallery key. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, let's head on back through here, huh? Yeah, and then I think, yeah, by the end of this part, I should have all the heart holders and all the gallery keys. And all the sunken souls. And all the remains, obviously, because I'm getting those right now. And all of the iron slabs or barbs or whatever I'm getting. Yeah, I'll have all that stuff. I'll have everything. It'll be great. And then I might get the magical tiara at the end of the part two. We'll see what happens. Okay, so break this open. This is a supply room, so I don't need anything in here. I mean, I could go ahead and break those jars. I did say I wanted to break jars, but that's a little bit too out of the way. I kind of want to just keep this pace moving. Want to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That didn't even sound like keep going. It just sounded like keep going, but whatever. Okay, third remains chunk, whatever. Excellent. And break this jar on the way out. Get some extra gems, you know? There we are. I know that the next thing I want to buy is 500 gems, so I want to get to 500 gems before I buy anything else. That's the super revive dance, and I don't think I have the regular revive dance just yet. Mm, I could break these jars, I guess I will break these jars because these ones are easier to access than the ones in the other supply room. But yeah, I need to get 500 gems so I can buy the super revive dance, but I don't even think I have the regular revive dance, and I think that's 100 gems, so if I could get to 600, that would be phenomenal! All right. That flower does not have remains in her, it just has gems. Not super concerned about those, because I'm gonna get some gems right here. This should be a gallery key, if I'm not mistaken. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll take it. Yes! Almost at 400 gems, things are going well, guys! Things are going well! Speed running tactics, here we go! Okay, 
climb up on the left side, climb up the chain or the wall, or just wall jump back and forth like I was doing. Whatever works, really, as long as you're able to get to the top. All right, so now this snake head over to the left can be destroyed, and I'm going to destroy it, but I need to push a block down first. Let me check this one. This is another remains piece. I'll take it. Thank you. And the fifth one is a bit above this, right next to a heart holder location, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll get that when the time comes. Let me go ahead and get these gems. Cool. 416 gems. I'll take them. I'll take them all. I'm going to need them all because I have to buy a bunch of things if I want a 100% hero mode. So, okay. At the top, there should be a block. I'm going to push this block down. I'm going to try to not get hit by these things. These little s snakes, I guess. I guess they are snakes. I don't know. Okay, push this block down. And then push it. Uh, actually, I don't want it to go to the left. I want it to go to the right. Because if I push it to the left, I don't know that I'll be able to push it anymore. Ah, uh, uh, darn it. I'm just, I'm just messing up this whole thing. What is the matter with me? Please forgive me, humans. I'm trying my best. All right, now I got I to gotta hop around again. Let's try that again. Go. Good. Cool. Push this over to the left, and then bash this open, and then this should take me to a secret room where I can get a heart holder. Yay! Now, I've done this puzzle a bunch of times, but I'm bound to screw it up again, so if need be, I can just cut ahead to when I get it correct, but let's see what happens. There we go. Now it's correct. See, I was bound to screw it up at least once. Welcome back, everybody. I have now solved this block-pushing puzzle. Here we are. Well, okay. One more push. Now I can turn into a mouse and just go through it all. Okay, cool. Now, while I subconsciously do this mouse section, I want to bring up a quick topic. So, the creator of the Shantae franchise is named James Montana. He's cool. I played Super Smash Bros. with him at E3 2014. That was fun. He played as Kirby. And on that topic, in the round table that happened for Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, Masahiro Sakurai was taking questions and James Montana was selected. And James Montana explained that the Kirby franchise inspired him to become a video game designer. And part of me is starting to see that with the Shantae games. I mean, yes, yeah, Shantae can transform into different animals and so can Kirby. But the point I'm getting at is Kirby games, at least more so in recent times, have incorporated these puzzle-like elements based on the attacks and characteristics you can do in the game. Like Shantae here can transform into a mouse. So that's used to go through segments like this. But then she can also transform into an elephant, which can be used to push blocks around. And so you combine those two things. So you push blocks around so that you can later turn into a mouse and go through them all. That is like a platformer puzzle. And I think Kirby games are probably the king of platformer puzzles. But Shantae, like I can definitely see how Kirby games would have inspired that. Okay, hang on, quick pause. Uh, I believe the right side has the remains and the left side has the heart holder. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and take this. But yeah, it, it is kind of interesting. I saw that round table discussion not too long ago and I remember that James Montana asked or stated his comments about how he was super thankful that Kirby games existed and how they inspired him and all that. And the more I play Shantae and the more I replay Shantae for the sake of this walkthrough, the more I can see that. I mean, the, the best example of that would be the Great Cave Offensive from Kirby Superstar, which is like a collect-a-thon, basically, and you need certain power-ups to get certain items. And with Shantae, I mean, that's kind of true. Now, Shantae is a different type of game entirely. Kirby is all about having individual levels, with the exception of the Great Cave Offensive, which is a giant cave. Uh, Kirby games don't usually have you get a power-up later and come back to get an item. This is, Shantae does, because Shantae is more of a Metroidvania style game than it is a traditional platformer. But, I can definitely see hints of Kirby games, and Kirby game elements, in Shantae. And I just think it's, I just think it's fascinating as an aspiring game designer, seeing how it can be influenced. I mean, it's also bright and colorful, like a Kirby game. It also has, like, the very pretty, almost anime-esque art style that is Kirby. So, I don't know. I mean, Kirby games are very different than Shantae games. I keep saying that, but I can also see how they are similar. Just a quick point of discussion that I wanted to bring up. Probably didn't interest any of you guys, but hey, it interested me. Anyway, how about another, how about another mouse section, huh? So I can go ahead and get this gallery key, I believe. I don't think this is a heart holder. I think this is just a gallery key. There is a heart holder at the top of the level, though. And that's where I'll be headed to next, and then I'll be done with this level, and then I can move on with the plots of the game. Or I'll move back to, I'll move back to the hub world. I'll move over and 
get a lollipop, and then I'll go back to Mermaid Falls. Oh, this is a heart holder. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, there is a heart holder at the top of the level, too. Okay, I was right. I was right. This is a heart holder. I was right the first time, not the second time. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Okay, now I just gotta go to the top. I could be the monkey or the harpy, I guess, at this point. Oh, nope. Nope. I, I gotta be the rat. I, I mentioned this earlier, and I almost forgot about it. Okay, the rat power-up. That gives me the mouse. Or I keep alternating between mouse and rat. Which is it? Which is a moment of truth. It is the mouse. Okay, I was right the first time, wrong the second time. Okay, I got the mouse bite. I do not plan on ever using that, but I need it if I want to get 100% in this game. So, let's just keep going. Hoppa, hoppa. Okay, going up, climbing around. Yeah, and then I think the only other thing on this level is the thing at the top, which is another heart holder. So then I'll have nine heart holders total, and it'll be awesome. Hooray! Okay, climb to the top. I could be the harpy, but just for the sake of things, let's go ahead and use the spider, because the spider is how you're intended to get up here. And since I will only be using the spider dance like one or two other times for the entirety of this walkthrough, I figure I may as well give it its time of day real quickly. So there you go. Taking this heart holder. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm done with Tassel Town for the time being. Let's head back to the hub. Let's go get a lollipop, and then let's go back to Mermaid Falls and continue on with this game, huh? Alright, so far, so decent, I suppose. It's been about 12 minutes. I This is going to be a long part because I also plan on doing the Hypno Baron's Castle on this part and then going back and collecting everything else with this elephant stomp. So, I'm just going to do my best. Just going to do my best. I'm going to be able to finish up Main Street because I don't need the Mermaid Bubble. I won't be able to finish up Mermaid Falls because I do need the Mermaid Bubble. And then I won't be able to finish... Mm, okay, so I'll get the mermaid bubble. I'll get all the collectibles that I can once I have the mermaid bubble. And then I'll go ahead and wrap up this part. I'm doing a lot of things in this part. For now, let me go ahead and get the lollipop. I gave sickness to him. I got a lollipop in return. You know, there are easier ways to get a lollipop. I mean, you, sh you can usually go inside of a bank and get a lollipop. But hey, doctor's giving you a lollipop. That's fine, too. And I don't have the monster egg. Darn it. I need to get that. Well, I'm going to Mermaid Falls anyway, so... I'll get a monster egg there, because those new mermaid enemies should be there, and every time you defeat them, they drop a monster egg. So I'll get one of those, I'll give it to that one lady that's on the hub, I'll get another heart holder, we'll be good, okay? So, Mermaid Falls. Alright, this level looks empty now, but I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch of stuff right now. Now I'm going to do all of those mouse segments, now I'm going to go ahead and do those elephant stomp things so I can get the scrap metal or whatever, like right here! Right here is a scrap metal, so let's go ahead and get that real quickly. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll take that. Thank you. All right, first of five, and I plan to get the other four in this part as well. So, let's go ahead and fly around. Let's, uh, yeah, I guess I really do just have to do the mouse stuff right now. Let me destroy you real quickly and get my monster egg, and hey, if I can get a second one along the way, that'll be helpful. Boom, okay. So there are two mouse segments on this level, and both of them are long. One of them is required, so I can deliver this lollipop, and the other one is for bonus completion's sake. So let's do the required one first, because it's right here, and then the bonus one is in the top right corner of this level. So turn into a mouse. Here we go. And then, yeah, I don't think there's any collectibles along the way. I'm pretty sure it is just go through this, get to the end, deliver the lollipop, and then get... What am I getting? The light shard? I think so. That's what Uncle Mimic wanted, I believe. I'm just getting items. I just remember the order of the items. I don't remember what specific items I get. <laughs> Alright, and then I guess I could use the mouse bite for this thing, but it, I, it doesn't matter. I'll take the hit. It's fine. I guess the mouse bite's just if you're on the regular portions of the level and you want to attack stuff without having to transform back into Shantae. I guess that's what it's for. I don't know. Whatever. Going through here. Shouldn't take too much longer, and then I can deliver this lollipop. Hopefully the guy will still want it. I mean, I've been traveling through water. I've been transforming to different animals, some of which have fur, some of which are just dirty in general. Here you are. You want this? You can have this. But now you do. Yes, you gave lollipop. Wow, I mean wow. And then I get a light shard. Kind of funny when you think about it when you're just skipping the text and all of a sudden you're just getting a bunch of random items, but whatever. Okay, I need the elephant. Break through these. Alright, now I gotta fly up here and do the other mouse segment, which is much longer. But there is a gallery key and a heart holder out of it, so I gotta do it. And I'll break this real quickly. The big pots are the ones that have a lot of stuff in it, so I may as well break them along the way. Good, good, and then I'll just knock you guys out. No gems! Da! Ah, what a waste of three seconds of my time or so. But see, these have gems, so now it's all worth it. Okay. So now I gotta go, I gotta, no, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with you right now. 
I gotta go over here and I gotta use the bat transformation to fly over to the right. Alright, and then after I do this mouse segment, I'll go over to the next part of the level, the factory portion, and there's stuff I can get now that I have the elephant stomp, so I'll get that real quickly. There's, I think there's a scrap metal piece, and then there's a gallery key I can get, so I'll get those right afterward. And then maybe I'll talk to Tuki, I'll get some new dances, and we should be good to go. We should be able to do things. Let's do things! Let's do it! Yeah! Here we are! Bada bing, bada boom! Going around, doing things, which would be great. Yeah! Yeah! Alright! Waiting! <laughs> okay, we're good. We're okay. We're okay. See, this stuff is easy. This stuff is easy. This game wasn't meant to be super difficult. This game is no Super Meat Boy. It is Shantae! A game focused more on bright colors and exploration than extreme difficulty and precision. Alright, this should be gallery key. Yep, and then the heart holder is at the end. So I'll take this, then I'll warp to the next part of the level, I'll get another gallery key, and we'll be good to go! And I guess while I'm on the next portion of the, portion of the level, I'll get that one extra item too for the Techno Baron. I'll get it! I'll get everything! It'll be fine, this is the wrap up part, and then the next part will just be me beating the final boss. It'll be great. It'll be fine. Okay, here we go, right along this, and then I think there's another platform. No, alright, just in here, and then once I get through this little corridor, if you will, I will be at the heart holder, and it'll be awesome! Let's go! Come on! Let's do it! Let's do it! Ah, it's so much going in circles, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to be entertaining, trying to make you guys want to watch this video while I'm just a mouse going through this labyrinth of platforms! But, I can only say so many things without being redundant or annoying, so please forgive me! I'm trying my best! It's somewhat early in the morning, I mean, not, not anymore, but it was when I started recording this, so... That's my excuse. Hooray for excuses! Alright, heart holder. I'll take it. Thank you. Boom. Take this. Boom. Yeah! Another heart holder. I'm just rocking these heart holders. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next part of the level with the warp dance. We're gonna get another scrap metal piece, and we're gonna get another gallery key. And then we should be good to go! Let's do it! Let's do things! Yeah! Okay, so the scrap metal is early on in the level. Gotta look for flowers. One of them, th there are two flowers here, I believe. One of them gives gems, the other one gives the scrap metal. I just don't remember which one's which. I think it's the first one that gives the scrap metal, so we'll find out. Excuse me! Thank you. Destroying you with the elephants is not easy, and I just gotta learn that. <sighs> okay. Here we are. I think this one gives the scrap metal. Let's see. Nope, that one's the gems, but there is another one that will give me scrap metal. Okay, you know what, dude? Get out of here. Thank you. I get that you're mad at me because I turned your friends and colleagues into gator steaks and fed them to some, uh, some of my enemies, but rest assured, I would have spared you, but you attacked me first, so here we go. This one should be scrap metal. There we go. Okay, and then there's another part of the level over to the right that will give me a gallery key, and then there's another part of the level over at the top that contains a secret area. And I gotta get both of these things if I wanna get 100%. So the scrap, or the gallery key should be over here. Yep, that's where it is. There's that treasure chest. So let's go ahead and get these. Bada bing, bada boom. I also have 500 gems, I just realized. So maybe I'll get that super revive dance. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, break all these. Yeah, yeah. Power through. And I will take this, thank you. Here is a gallery key. Alright, I don't remember how many more gallery keys I need. I think I only need two more. And then I can get the magical tiara and just rock this game. I already have all the dance transformations aside from those weird bonus ones you get from Tuki. So I really could just... <laughs> I could just rock it. Get to the final level and already be good to go. I mean, I guess that's the point. That's how I did it in the main walkthrough. But I mean, doing everything else just maxed out. I almost have all the heart holders, all the gallery keys. Infinite magic before I even get to Hypno Baron's castle. I mean, that'll be awesome. Alright, here we go. So, oh, whoops. I guess I could do it with the harpy, but I'll do this the intended way since this is likely the last time that I'll be using the spider dance. So cool. The spider looks so cool, but it's not the most useful dance. It's such a shame. It's great for this part. Alright, here we go. Let's just do it. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy the combination of the spider and the bat because the harpy just outranks both of them. Alright. Climb this, get to the other side, and then I get like a, a techno chip or something. Then I'll get that to Techno Baron later. I pushed the jump button. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. 
All right, can I do this next part properly, please? I mean, it's not super difficult. It never was super difficult. I just, I, I pushed the button and I fell. So let's try it again. There we go, there we go. See, that's more like it. I don't know what happened last time, I'm sorry. Uh, this should be a chip. I don't need this immediately, but I'm gonna get it now since I'm already here. And then I'll go ahead and talk to Tuki real quickly and then I should be good to go. So there we go, got my data chip. Now I can just fly out of here with the bat and I can have a grand old time as I prepare for 100% completion of the hero mode. Yay! And enjoy perhaps the last time I'll be using the bat dance. Ah, oh well, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. It was certainly more useful in the main walkthrough since I didn't get the heartbeat dance till the end, but hey. It, it is what it is. When you start with the heartbeat dance, you may as well just use it. There's not much of a reason not to, except for little segments like that. Hey man, I'm gonna destroy you this time with the elephant. No, I mean, I am gonna destroy you, but I'm just gonna get hurt a bunch of times in the process. Darn it! Like, it just feels so good to defeat you with the elephant, but it just takes so long. Oh well. Hi, Tuki. So, I know I don't have enough for both the revive and the... St oh, it's 250? Alright, I gotta buy it anyway. Super revive's 500. Is there something else I can buy in the meantime? I mean, there are. I'll have to come back to Tuki later anyway. Alright, you know what? Let me just... I don't need 500 gems, but I may as well just buy, like, the Dryad Dance, I guess. Whatever. Alright, I'll be back, Tuki. Don't you worry. Alright, and then there's no point in buying other healing items. Because I already have a few, and I have a Revive Dance now. So I should be good. Okay, so now that I have all those, I can talk to Uncle Mimic. And then now, I should unlock the Hypno Baron's Castle level. So, uh, let's knock out Main Street real quickly. I have everything I need to knock it out. There's just one scrap metal piece there, and then there's one other item. What am I missing? Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do Main Street. What am I missing? I'm missing... I got the Mermaid Relic. I got the, the Vorpal Blade. Hmm. I don't quite remember what I'm missing, but I can always cut ahead to when I figure it out. Okay, I know what I'm missing. I'm missing that green gem to magic thing, and I forgot it was on this level. See, I forgot about it because I, I don't... I didn't use it, and I don't plan on using it. It definitely has its uses, especially if you're not going for 100%. But since I am going for 100%, I'm more concerned about getting gems. So I'm going to turn it off for now, but maybe I'll turn it on when I get to the last level or something. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Now the last thing I need on this level requires that I have the elephant stomp. And I knew that I'd have to come back here way later from the get-go. I think I even mentioned that in the first hero mode part. But over here should be some purple blocks. And then I can break open the purple blocks with, and then there should be a flower underneath. And then I use the elephant stomp on the flower and get the second to last scrap metal piece because I haven't gotten the one in Keeper Station yet. So, either way, normally this is the last one that I would get, but since I'm already over here and I'm already knocking out Main Street, how about I go ahead and get it now? Bada bing, bada boom, scrap metal piece obtained. That's what I'm talking about. I'll take that. Thank you! Main Street is done! Don't have to come back to this level ever again, which is a shame, because it does look cool and it has awesome music, but... You know, as I get closer to beating this game, I have to stop visiting older levels. Okay. So, I finally have that monster egg. I can deliver it to this person here at the hub world thing. Marketplace, whatever. And I'll get that next heart holder! Yes! So let me go ahead and get this. Th there. Okay? I'll take it. This monster egg is for you! I will take this heart holder. Cool. Three more to go. Two of them should be on Cape Crustacean, and one of them's on Hypno Baron's Castle. So I'm doing okay. I'm alright. Not even worried. Alright, and then this is a scrap metal piece. May as well get it real quickly. Yeah, you thought you could psych me out. You thought I wouldn't be able to notice this, but I remembered it very well. Okay, let's go talk to Uncle Mimic. Alright, got your light... Got your... I can't even say it. I got your light shard not too long ago. You can have it. I'll take Hypno Baron's Castle map. Here we are. All right, now now it's time to do an actual level in this part. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. <sighs> Just keep up the pressure, keep the pace. Just keep doing things. Skip this text. Go to Hypno Baron's castle. All right, here we are. Whew. All right, we're we're okay, guys. We're we're making we're making good track records right now. All right, get the bat sonar, get the heart holder from Hypno Baron's castle, and then be done with it. And I'll get the zombie hamster too, because I can. But I will have to come back here one more time, because I stopped to deliver that Squid Baron poster toward the very last portion of the game. So I will have to come back here one more time. But for the time being, let's skip this. Let's go in. Let's get that heart holder. Let's get the bat sonar. And let's, let's rock it. 
This level is pretty easy as is, so like I've been saying, not even worried. Okay, here we are. Boom, boom, ah, okay. All right, I see, I understand, I got it. Things happen, things happen, you know? Let's just, let's just keep rolling and then I'll get, I'll break, no, no, I said I'll break this, thank you. Got it. All right, now, the thing that always takes me out, I usually get the directions of the heart holder and the next portion of the level backwards, so. Let me go ahead and knock this stuff out first. Let me get the bat sonar so that I can actually use it for the one portion of the game where it's necessary. There we are. Okay. Bat sonar obtained. Whew. This was one of the last items I got in my main walkthrough, but now I'm getting it in a, a, a more proper time. And then on the right side of the roof should be that other zombie guy who will give me the zombie hamster. So I can go ahead and get that real quickly so I don't have to worry about that later. So I only have to come back to this level one more time instead of two. All right, and bada bing, bada boom. Talk to you, we'll skip your text. Hello, Poe, thank you for the zombie hamster. Can you imagine you're just hanging out in this castle, you just walk up and you're just like, Poe, and you're like, here, take the zombie hamster. Because that's exactly what happened. At least, that's the way I interpreted it because I skipped the text, but hey, we'll take it. Okay, so now I just gotta get the heart holder and then I just gotta beat the level. And I don't think I've ever been on this little right part of the attic, so let's go ahead and check it out. Not just, just a, I don't know if it's a shortcut or not, since it's kind of a weird way to get up here, but there you go. I have now, I have now shown the attic. Now this, I think, takes me down, yeah, to the room where I got to deliver the poster. So this is not necessary right now. No use talking to you. Let's get out of here. Just, just mind your own business, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm leaving you alone. All right, this is a little library. Looks like it's all frosted outside. <laughs> And that's some nice details, I must admit. It's just a shame that the level's so short because the details are very, very nice and very, very appreciated. Alright, so this... So one of these takes me to the heart holder, the other one takes me to the next portion of the level. I think... I did this wrong, I think this does take me to the next portion of the level. So, let me... Darn it. Let me double check. Yeah, and then it, like I go down to the right and then I exit, right? So... I think I need to go back up. And I need to go to another part of the level so I can get the heart holder. Okay, so let's try this again. I mean, the level is somewhat of a maze. It's definitely psyching me out. It still is weird to me that the first time I played this level, I got to the exit on my first try without even, like, mixing things up. So, I still have that bragging right. But for now, let's go ahead and check over here. There we go. See, this treasure chest is real. The other ones are fake. This one's real. I'll take that heart holder. Thank you. Two more to go, and I believe they are both back at Cape Crustacean, and they both require the... Well, one of them requires the elephant stomp. The other one I guess I could have gotten, but it was next to another area that required the elephant stomp, and I just wanted to knock them both out at the same time. So, there you go. We are good. All right, just dodge all the enemies. Let's just go back over here, and let's actually beat this level. From here on out, the level should be easy because I can just fly over it. And normally when I play this level, I'd fly over it with the bat. But because I did that, there were still one or two sections that I had to do real quickly in order to keep using the bat power. But with the harpy, I can just skip this next section pretty much entirely. There are no collectibles here. Tuki is here, but I don't have 500 gems to buy the Super Revive Dance, so I am going to skip her. And we're just going to we're just gonna power through this. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Speedrunning tactics. Here we are. Here we go. Let's do it. I don't think there's any faster way to do this. I think this is the fastest way to get through this part. It's just with just with the harpy. I mean, maybe there's a more precise way to push the fly button, but as far as I'm concerned, this is as fast as I can do it. Yep, yeah, just 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 do it. Skip it all. Skip it all. Enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the rain. I love rain. It's raining outside right now. And now it's raining out in out here in the game. I mean, it looks great. Rain effects are cool. They're simple to do typically, and they have long-lasting efforts if done correctly. So, I like it. Plus, I mean, rain in a haunted level. That's not unheard of. It adds to the tone. It adds to the atmosphere! So I definitely appreciate it. Here we go. Alright, I think this is the last little phase of this level, and then I can fight the boss. There's Tuki. Gonna skip her. See, normally with the bat, I'd still have to do that segment real quickly, but now I don't have to. Those flowers that I'm passing only have gems in them. They don't have scrap metal pieces because there are no scrap metal pieces on this level. I already got all the collectibles on it, which is why I'm just skipping over it. You know what? I'll break these pots real quickly. All right, we're good. We're good. Time for technically two boss fights. I'll knock those out. I'll go back. 
I'll get the mermaid bubble finally. I'll knock out all the other levels, and then I should be good to go. Okay, let's take out Squid Baron real quickly. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'll take out the Super Pike Ball, and then I'll just whip you with my hair. Whoops, that's not the Super Pike Ball. Hang on a second. This is the Super Pike Ball. Yeah, you're still gonna hurt me. I'm not doing a no hit run. I'm just trying to beat it quickly. And if that means taking hits, then so be it. It's not even gonna be world record time, so what do I care? I've already come to grips with the fact that this will not be the world's greatest Shantae video, but hey, if I can make a, if I can still make a great Shantae video, not the greatest, but a great one, then I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's go. All right, come on now. I don't want to be out of magic before the second phase of this fight. You shouldn't be lasting too much longer. There we go. Good. Now I got to fight them both at the same time, which also shouldn't be easy because what I usually do for that boss fight is I take out the Squid Baron first, and then I take out the Hypno Baron. So we should be good. We should be fine. Not even worried. All right. Now we get the regular boss battle music, and we're going to have ourselves a grand old time. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Take them both down. Yep. Okay. And let's go ahead and use that real quickly just in case. I didn't want it to I didn't want to have it come to this, but that's how we're doing it. Here we go. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hooray for Super Pike Ball. It makes this so much easier. Of course, having the semi tars would be nice too, and I guess I could have bought that, and then I guess I could have also bought and bought and ugh. I guess I could have also purchased the items that make Shantae's hair whip faster and stronger, but alas, it's okay. I didn't do it. But I I I'm gonna do it eventually, so. No harm done, right? If I have to spend an extra five seconds on this boss fight, it's fine. It's not a super big deal. All right, and if I can hit the other Baron at the same time while I take out the Squid Baron, that's fine too. Right now, I just want to take out the Squid Baron. Because as weird as it sounds, he's the bigger threat here. There you go. Take him out, and then the other one will become much, much easier. Boom, done. Then you should be pretty easy. I should be able to defeat you in less than a minute, if I'm not mistaken. Yes? Yes, is that correct? Let's go. Let's do it, come on. Come on now. We can do it! Let's do things! Hoppa! Alright, uh, darn it all. Keep it going. Use another one. Of, let's just use the monster egg. I don't need to heal up all my health. Oh. Well, I guess I didn't really have to heal up any of my health because you were just one or two hits away from being defeated anyway. So, boom! You're done! Hypno Baron's castle is done. I only have to come back here one more time to deliver a poster and then it'll be 100%. Completion bonus. Done. There we go. Skip all this text. Then I don't have to do the Shantae Genie Realm thing because I already have the Harpy Dance. So we're good. Okay. So what's the next thing I gotta do? I... I, uh... Maybe I already have it. I don't remember. I have the Harpy Dance now. I gotta get the Foxy Grandma hat. But I... Oh, okay, right. So I needed to get the Vorpal Blade. I already have the Vorpal Blade. And then the guy I give that to gives me the Foxy Grandma hat. I give the Foxy Grandma hat to the Blobfish. Yeah, there's zero nights in the item shop. Just want to make sure. Oops, wrong shop. Okay, give the Foxy Grandma hat to the Blobfish. She gives me the Mermaid Bubble. Then with the Mermaid Bubble, I can go ahead and collect everything else. Okay, we good? All right. So, talk to you. Get this. You can have this Vorpal Blade. I got it, like, in the previous part. Maybe even in the first part. Got the Foxy Grandma hat. All right. Boom. Get the Foxy Grandma hat. To the Blobfish, who has a good sense of humor. But we're going to skip her text right now because it goes on for a little while. All right. There. Change your hat. Enjoy it. Boom. Mermaid Bubble. I now have every dance transformation, at least all of the main ones. And I have every dance transformation power up. So we should be good. I'm still missing one or two gallery keys, so maybe I won't get the magical tiara in this part. But for now, let's go back to Mermaid Falls. Let's knock that out. I'll go back to Tasseltown. I'll knock that out. I'll go back to Cave Crustacean. I'll knock that out. Should be a good time. So right now, my goals are to get all the sunken souls, to get the remaining gallery keys and heart holders, and to get the last scrap metal piece. Okay, so let's start with Mermaid Falls. There's a, there is a heart holder here. Okay, so there is only one left in, in Cape Crustacean. How many hearts do I have? Yeah, there's only one left in Cape Crustacean. Okay, sorry. There is one here. I have to climb a waterfall. I remember that. So let's fly over here real quickly. And I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and do these things. And it'll be great. Okay, so here we are. We should be fine. 
not even worried. Alright, here we go. Boom. Mermaid, down here. Now with this mermaid bubble, I can get everything. Everything! So, if I recall, at the top over here, there should be a sunken soul. I'll take that. Thank you. And then at the bottom, down here, there should be another sunken soul. And I'll go ahead and take it. And then there should be a passageway that will lead me to a waterfall that I can climb up to get the heart holder. There we go. Another sunken soul. Good to go. Good to go. And then it's like over to the right here. Yeah. Boom. Thank you. All right. And then we'll go ahead and climb this. Ah, moving as the mermaid on land is so slow. Let's get out of that real quickly. Boom. I'll take this. Thank you, heart holder obtained. But there's still more stuff I have to get on this first portion of the level, so I'm not going to use the warp dance just yet. Let's go ahead and be a mermaid. Go back down here. Stall for like one or two seconds. And back into the water. That's what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and do some more scavenger hunting while I locate the remaining sunken souls and any other collectibles that I may have missed. Let's take a quick look around. There's got to be more than I'm missing. There are plenty of sunken souls on this level. And I know that there are one or two in the next segment of the level, but for the time being, I want to keep looking around here. Ah, yes, I mustn't forget about this one, because this is one of the rare opportunities where I'll be using the crab dance, as opposed to the mermaid dance. But there you go. Got that one, too. Really? I never got this treasure chest? I mean, it's just been sitting here. It's been seeable from the get-go, and I just never got it. All right, well, got it now. Alright, I think that's everything for this first portion of the level. I think everything else I need is on the second portion of the level. Okay. So over here should be a sunken soul. I think there's two on this part of the level. So if I'm missing one, then I'll get it now. But there's one that can only be that can only be obtained after you get the mermaid bubble, and it's this one. Okay. So go ahead and take this. It's just like, what else am I missing then? I'm doing things way out of order. I'm sorry, guys. This video is probably going to be cut all over the place. Hang on a second. Is it around here? Yes, it is, and I need the crab. Well, enjoy the opportunity of me using the crab. Ah, all right. I, I'm sorry that took so long. This video is probably going to be weird because you guys are going to be like, wait, why'd you get sunken soul number four and then seven and then five and then three and then I don't know. But I got the Sunken Soul now. The Sunken Souls always mess me up. But now I know that all the remaining ones are at Tasseltown. So, not even worried anymore. Yep, okay, so Mermaid Falls is done. I have one... What was that? One more... One more Heart Holders here? Are there no more Heart Holders on Cape Crustacean? I thought I was missing a Heart Holder there, but okay. Well, if that's the case, I'll get it here. Alright, so it's one more Heart Holder. And then I get the Iron Slab, I think. And then I get the remaining sunken souls, and then this level will be done. And then I'll go over to Cape Crustacean and get whatever I'm missing there. I guess it's gallery keys and a piece of scrap metal. And then I'll be good. And then all these levels should be cleared out, so we should be fine. Alright. Good. Good. <laughs> Alright. I am not even worried. Because I know where everything is on this part of the level. Or I know where everything is on this level, just in general. So, right around here should be a sunken soul, if I'm not mistaken, at the very least. Crab will probably let me get to it more quickly, but just to double check, should be a sunken soul at the bottom. Yes, okay. And everything else, well, no, actually, not even everything else. There is one more part on this level that requires me to use the crab. I have to break a block with the elephant stomp, turn into the crab, then use the crab to go and get a heart holder, and then everything else from this point onward in the game will not need the crab it'll all just be mermaid action so yeah cool all right i don't have to destroy all these enemies i just find it easier if i do it that way hey uh take you out boom good great okay now mermaid everything here is mermaid all right good break this open this takes me to where the iron slab is but i think there's a sunken soul around here too yeah it's up there okay i'll get it on the way out so let's get this iron slab Bada bing, bada boom, I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hiya. All right, let's keep it going. Get the sunken soul, and then over where the heart holder is, I believe, is the last sunken soul. So, am I doing my math right? Yeah, only one more sunken soul to go, and I know exactly where it is. See, not even worried. All right, and then the last thing I need is the last metal scrap, and that's on Cape Station. So, 
We should be good. And then I can finally get the, like, oh. I think before I was saying how I got every dance transformation power-up. That's not correct. I'm missing the spider venom. Oh, well. I'll get that at Caper Station, too. Oh, well, for the time being, I finally had the elephant stomp, so now I can finally go ahead and get this. Dodge the bomb. Nope, didn't dodge the bomb. Doesn't even matter. Okay, go down here, get the sunken soul. That's all ten sunken souls, and this is about to be the 12th and final heart holder. So, hooray. Just keep moving, just keep moving. We're okay, folks. We're okay. I'm not okay anymore. I'm just, I'm just gonna take a beating. That's okay. The second I get the heart holder, all of my health should be replenished anyway. So, we should be good. Yep, I'm okay. Because once I get this, I can just leave the level anyway, so... What am I worried about? Nothing! Nothing at all! I'll take that. Boom! Every heart holder has now been obtained. Alright, good. Good. Let's get out of here. Alright, Tassel Town is complete. Mermaid Falls is complete. Main Street is complete. It is just Cape Crustacean now. And this should be relatively easy because the one thing I need is at the beginning of the second portion and everything else is like right next to each other. So, let's do it. I can skip this first portion. Hooray for that. Hooray for Warp Dance. See, this is why I advise that you get the Warp Dance as soon as possible. So, let's do it. Let's warp. And... There we go. Okay. So, now that I have the Warp Dance, I can go to this next portion. And then the collectible I need is in, like, the first or second airship. And I just need the Elephant Stomp to get it. So, let's go ahead and get it real quickly, huh? Alright. Good. Good. Should be good. Alright, so it's, it's the second airship. Sorry. It's the first one I actually have to jump to. But, not even worried. See? Done. Okay. Now, Elephant Stomp. This should get me the... This should get me a gallery key. Because I guess I already have all the heart holders, right? So, boom! I'll take that. Thank you. Alright. And then I can just go to the next portion of the level via Warp Dance! Hooray! Alright, we're warping. We are warping. Okay. Now. This time, I can finally show what the bat sonar is supposed to be used for. Because in my regular walkthrough, I didn't use the bat sonar for its proper use. In fact, I don't even think I used it at all. I don't even think I did the segment correctly. I just flew over it with the harpy. But, even though I can fly over it with the harpy, and even though I could have done that the first time I was here, just for the sake of example, for the sake of thoroughness, I will do this properly with the bat sonar. I will do things like I'm supposed to because I'm a professional walkthrougher, sort of. I'm not the best player at this game, I keep saying that, but... Uh, I don't even go up there, I already got that. Well, I still stand by it! I'm a professional walkthrougher, sorta, but I'm still not the best player at this game. I can acknowledge that. Okay, so... There are two different areas I need to visit. One, so I can use the Elephant Stomp and get a, another scrap metal and a gallery key. And then the other, so I can use the Bat Sonar. And then get the Spider Venom, which I will probably never use. It makes no sense to me why you get the Spider Venom so late and that you need an item from one of the last levels to even get it. Especially when the Harpy is so much better than the Spider. But, oh well. I guess it's just the idea that counts. I mean, you're required to get the Harpy Dance. It's not like it's an optional thing. I don't know. There's the last Scrap Metal anyway. Got all the Scrap Metal pieces in this part. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, now over here, I could have gotten this at any time, but... I just kept out of it because I figured I wanted to come back here when I could get the scrap metal so I didn't have to come here twice. But you know what I might do? Since I have to go up these waterfalls, I'll use the crab one more time since the crab can move more quickly than the mermaid. So let's go ahead and just do that. Whoops, wrong one. Uh -huh. Yep, that's a psych out waterfall. I got it. I fell for its trap. Okay, and then I think it's the end one that takes me down. Yep, and then go over to this one. And then, yeah. And now I can go ahead and get this. This should be a gallery key. Yep. Thank you. So, I can't skip the rest of the level. I have to go back through all this because I still have to get that thing that requires the bat sonar. Alright, so let's do this. I... Why am I the mermaid? Let's try this again. Crab. Enjoy it! The last time I'm using the crab for what might be the entirety of this walkthrough. Because anything else in this game is probably going to be done with other characters that can't transform into crabs, so... Yeah. Okay, well, for now, let's get the heck out of here. And then the next thing that I need to get on this level, the next collectible, the final collectible, is not far off from here. I think it's just like one or two screens after this, so let me, uh, let me get these things and let me turn into a harpy and just fly over it all. Yay, harpies! Okay, excuse me. Alright, uh, you know what? 
You're asking for it, bub. Thank you. Thank you for your death. Also, I have 500 gems now, so if I wanted to, I could get the Super Revive Dance. Hooray! Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Maybe not in this part. This part's already getting to be kind of long. It's already, like, what, 50 minutes or so? I mean, I'm, I imagine I'm cutting, so let's see. All right, so over here, I pointed this out in the previous parts, and I'm going to point it out again. I could go here at any time, but the way you're supposed to do this segment is you're supposed to get the Bat Sonar from Hypno Baron's Castle so that you can do this, so that you can now see where you are going in this dark area. This is all the bat sonar is used for. When I initially did this, I just flew over it all with the harpy, but this is how you're supposed to do it, okay? Oh, and I'm still screwing it up. Oh, well, it's fine. Man, why did I have an easier time doing this with the harpy in the dark than I am doing it the intended way with the bat? Ugh, all right, here, come on. Just need to double check every, gosh darn it, why? Why? I'm like tempted to just fly over with the harpy, but then it's like, then I'm not doing it the intended way. And that's the whole reason I saved this part for now. So, okay. Don't do that. Alright. Let's, let's go down here, right? Right, okay. And then don't go any further because there's another spike wall. Can't go to the right. So, I think there was a platform over to the left that originally had a jar on it, and I destroyed the jar. So now, okay. I don't no what else I mean do I keep okay I keep going to the left that's why I think that's the part I've been screwing up this entire time I think I can do the rest of this now right and then drop down onto this platform break the jar hallelujah I'll take these things it'll be great okay boom thank you all right good Are we good okay boom and I could get that or I could drop down here and move over to the left slightly and get into the next part of the level and finally get the spider venom power-up that I probably won't even use. There we go. But now I have every power-up for every dance transformation. Yeah. Okay. We good? Are we good? Thank you. I could just leave this level, but I'm going to show you guys how to get out of it in case you guys are just doing things this way. I don't know. It's so weird. It's so weird. All right. Here we go. And then fly over it this way, right? That's the way I can do it. That's the way I was supposed to do it. That's the way I am doing it. Okay. Bada bing. Bada boom. Cave crustacean is done. That's every level uh, cleared out, basically. And then you'd get out by doing this. All right. Now, at this point, I'm just going to fly back. Go back to the marketplace. And I'm going to end this video, okay? Because it's been going on for a while. It's just been a huge collectathon, And I get that that's the objective of this game. But I pretty much did the objective of this game in one video. Okay, so everything else is done, right? Yes. 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 Every gallery key. Every heart holder. Every sort of miscellaneous transformation power-up. Everything is done. Okay? So, I think now is as good a time as any for me to start saying my goodbyes. Actually, how's my health? Do I need to heal up real quickly? Maybe I'll do that real quickly and then I'll say my goodbyes. All right, yeah, I'm going to heal up, and then I shall say goodbye. All right, folks, so this was a long part of Hero Mode for Shantae, Half Genie Hero, and I hope that you all enjoyed it. Oh, I could get the Magical Tiara, too. I'll save that for next time. Okay, I have over 600 gems. It's great. All I really have to do now to get 100% completion is buy all the items and all the remaining transformations from Tuki, and then I'm good to go. I have everything else. I have every other collectible. So for now, that wraps up this part of Shantae, Half Genie Hero, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I presumably finish up Hero Mode. Should be a fun time. And you know what? Just to end this video, let's go ahead and head inside of Uncle Mimic's workshop since this is where I'll be next time anyway. So yeah, next time, final boss, final level, any remaining collectibles and dance transformations should be fun. Alright, bye bye humans, whoosh.